Someone who's definitely not old. Kobe Mainu. Oh. Two oh, goals in oh. two games, and he rescued things on Thursday night against Wolverhampton Wanderers. I mean, sometimes we can go a little bit early in praise for a young player, but my goodness me, he is some player, isn't he? No, he's a top player to be... F and this is where you have to credit um, Ten Hag, because, you look, you brought in the likes of Amrabat, you know, and he was keeping out the likes of Amrabat, Matt Tomine as well in that midfield, and I think he's an exciting young player, and they bring them through the academy. This is brilliant. This is the last kick of the game. We're watching this on deadline day, thinking Wolves have got something. He goes past Kilman, and you know what? He, he's still in there, and for such a young man, he's ice cool. I've always told, as a centre forward in them posi positions, ice cool, and he just bends it into the far corner. Like a natural striker, he's not even a striker, he's a midfielder, and, and you look at him there, won the FA Youth Cup of United in 2002, full Premier League debut against Everton. Started the last eight games and comp scoring in his last two. Fantastic young player, because I thought Imo was a holding midfielder, mm. but for him to get forward and have the, you know, the balance and the awareness to bend that exciting young player, that's the good thing. Yeah. The one good thing I think I'll take from Man United this year is hit the young man's performance. And you've got to remember, Michael, uh, Rashford's got to remember, he looks up, up to, to Rashford. Yeah. 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 He yeah. looks up to him. You know, he Definitely. would have from day one. You yeah. know, someone like Rashford getting in, he's coming through the ranks. He would look up to him. He's got to remember that as well. It, it was his class. Mm -hmm. You see his full debut there. I was at Goodison Park and there was a, it was hostile. And he took the ball in areas where you think an experienced player mm -hmm. would be taking it. And he never once gave it away. I mean, that's a different side to Kobe Mainu we saw later on in the game. And thankfully for them, he came up with the goods because they were under pressure to give a terrible goal away and they, they got the, the win. But he, he, he uses class, calmness at such a young age is incredible. Uh, and Toby Heard. Um, Rio Ferdinand talking about him after the game the other night, saying it reminded him in some ways. It, he, I think he said he gave him sort of Clarence Seedorf vibes watching him that night. How, how potentially good could he be? Yeah, I think that's <laughs> the, the, probably the big point with that goal the other night. I think when you speak to people at Manchester United, coaches that have worked with him, he's got so much more to his mm. game than probably what we've seen in terms of that number six sort of defensive midfielder yeah. position. And he seems like a real all-rounder when you look at someone like a Seydorf, someone who could do absolutely everything in that midfield. And he seems to be the, the full package, that's for sure. And it's just the maturity that he plays with, for me, again, going into that area of the pitch, which is so competitive. And he just never, ever looks flustered. Such a cool head on young shoulders. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about England, a lot of talk about a potential partnership with Jude Bellingham. I mean, both his parents come from Ghana. Uh, and Ghana have been showing interest in the last few days in trying to get into play for them. But he has represented England at under 17, 18 and 19 levels. So it's over to you, Gareth Southgate. Just, just a final <coughs> one on this. I guess the only negative in this, Paul, is if, if you're relying on an 18-year-old to dig you out of trouble, it doesn't say a great amount about your season. No, and I think, I think he's... He took the pressure off uh, Ten Hag majorly. I, mean, I dread to think how many times they've been two, two clear goals up this season and not hung, yeah. hung on and won the game. And that was a big goal. That was a big goal in Man United's season. I think, you know, it's closed the gap for the top four, you know. And, uh, yeah, I can't talk highly enough for the lad. The lad's been absolutely amazing for 18 years of age. And I keep on saying he's playing at one of the biggest clubs in the world who is just under scrutiny every single day, you know. Brighton get beat 4-0 at Luton. It's a little piece in the paper. You know, if that would have ended up free all the other day, that would have been headlines, yeah. front and back page, probably, because of the Rashford thing. So, yeah, brilliant. Fair play to him.